everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today's lookbook and video is inspired by my excitement to go see the Barbie movie. I actually did not grow up loving Barbies that much. I was more of a Polly Pocket girl, but the older I get, the more I appreciate them. My favorite Barbies are really the ones from like the 80s, 70s, 60s, and those are really representations of like young women. So I feel like their outfits and aesthetics really have appeal for, you know, all feminine people across all ages. I'm more excited for this, not because it's Barbie, but because it's like a Barbie movie. I'm not the master of cinema here, but I love movies. I love going to the theaters. So there's a lot of appeal for me and I actually already bought my tickets it's the end of June when I'm filming this and I bought my tickets for the first day that the movie comes out July 21st and today's cords that I'm gonna be presenting to you from my dream house are the cords I might wear to go see the movie in this little dress-up fantasy that we're doing just keep in mind that we're theorizing that I bought tickets for the very back of the cinema so if I'm wearing something big on my head that doesn't mean I'm blocking anyone's view that is what I meant to do. I got too excited. I forgot. I bought tickets for like the middle of the theater, but I probably just won't wear my headpiece while the movie is playing and I'm not gonna wear a wig. But if you see me wearing something big on my head, that's why, of course, we're gonna make this a good cinema going experience for everyone. Barbie plays fair after all, I think. And I'm not courting based on specific dolls, just my concept of like what Barbie is or who she is, or I guess what I would wear if this Barbie was a Lolita. <laughs> this card is one of the more realistic for me to actually wear it's pretty comfortable it's not too ott so it's not gonna like get uncomfortable as the movie goes on though realistically i'll probably wear my hair down and just the canetier so that my pigtails don't block anyone obviously i was going to do at least one like mermaid inspired coordinate the mermaid barbies were actually one of the like more special ones that i had and since it's like the main theme of my wardrobe is rain prints I feel like this is sort of a young princess, like mermaid princess disguised as a human, and like it's like turned into a human. Like that's the plot of this Barbie movie. That's kind of what I'm going for. So this would be like her day-to-day -day outfit, obviously, because this is what a normal person wears every day. I thought it would be fun to draw out some of the socks elements since I like to wear this dress with just pink or white a lot, but I feel like the socks makes it a little bit more fun and obviously all pink is kind of what I immediately think of when I think of Barbie. So I just wanted to play with something a bit different and not do every chord monochromatic. So this one is pink socks and I really like pairing Mermaid Symphony with these aquarium carnival tights because they have like the dolphins and the marine prince so front and center. Whereas with Mermaid Symphony, it's not as obvious at first glance. That's why I also use this shell. I think it's the Chateau de Cume Choker from AP. And of course the classic Mermaid Symphony Canetier, just to like really emphasize those like mermaid princess, mermaid Barbie vibes. was more inspired by like the retro aspect of Barbies that I love and I really really tried to like find a way to use an overskirt and tie it as an apron because I don't have an apron it really did not work but I wish I had an apron for this cord is what I'm trying to say I think it's pretty self-explanatory I mean it's quite similar to the Milky Way cord I wore in my vlog that I posted recently I wore it as some headpiece I think but for this cord I chose this blouse because the like high collar of this blouse always gives me chef and i thought like chef diner you know so that was my train of thinking i don't know if it's on the rails but that's what it is and the movie's coming out in july so realistically it's gonna be really really humid and hot 
so I wore ankle socks and they have strawberries and polka dots on them so I mean they work for the cord I kept it simple for this one I will probably wear a pink main piece to see the movie but I wanted to try doing a cord at least with a different color and a different theme than just like cute and pink and princess yay that's this one is pretty obvious here this is like a sailor barbie cord i actually really love this coordinate i'm surprised i hadn't thought of wearing this specific cut so with this dress before this is the star shower jsk and it actually does come with a sailor collar and bow very similar to this one but it's removable and that's super convenient i do think this is a pretty realistic one for me to wear to the movie because I can remove the hat and accessories very easily. I tied it quite far back on my head so that I wouldn't need like as much volume on my hair to make it work so that way I could wear my hair down. This is honestly a very me cord. I have coordinated this specific headpiece, cut sew and sailor sock combo about a hundred times. I will do it a hundred times more. I think it looks super cute together. And whenever you wanna be like really obvious with the theming, this like combo works for me. It's so obviously like sailor costume, whatever. It just kind of works. I do love a good theme and I love all those like Barbie sets that are super like emphasizing a specific theme. I really want to go very blatantly obvious sailor theme with this one. <laughs> No way I would actually wear this to a movie theater to watch a movie in a very crowded theater but of course for this video I wanted to do at least one OTT coordinate and princess is the obvious choice but I thought what about like more of a bridal coordinate so that was my inspiration for this one I'm sure there are bridal Barbies out there I don't know exactly but Maybe this is like a garden princess. It could be one or the other. I wanted to go for memorial cake with that theme in mind because it's cakes and wedding cakes. And then I just pulled out some more OTT pieces. I'm using these gloves again and I haven't worn this blouse in a while, but it's definitely my most OTT blouse. And it has some beautiful floral elements that I feel match the gloves really well, as well as the print and these socks, of course. And then I decided to bring out some mint details because of the socks. So I matched it with the mint shoes. The shoes are of course much more green than the mint in the print and the socks, but whatever. It's very hard to match these kind of second colors that aren't that popular in Lolita right now. But to balance the green more, I added this overskirt and some other accessories like bracelet and the clip. This is actually a, um, side little bustle skirt thing. I think if I bend over, you can see that there's like a bow and stuff like that. But my girlfriend and I have been watching this show called The Marvelous Miss Maisel. And, and in the first episode, she is getting married and has like this veil with a little bow in the front. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. So I was very inspired by that. And I used the matching memorial cake bow to um, go with this. It would look really nice, I think, with my Priscilla hair pieces, which are longer and, you know, with the huge Hime bump. This wig does have volume, but I'm trying to be a little realistic here and it's quite hot. So I went with the short wig instead. It feels much nicer on my neck, even though the ring light um, and the lack of AC for the mic is currently making me overheat. 
Thankfully, the hoop skirt does help with that. And for this quarter, it looks really nice to have more volume because it is more OTT. That was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little lookbook. It's been a while since I've done one, or at least it feels like it's been a while. If you're going to see the Barbie movie, let me know what cords or dresses you're considering wearing and what you hope will be in the movie or maybe like what you hope it will be like. I'm just hoping it's good to be honest. I'm hoping it's a little funny, a little campy, you know. I'm just looking forward to the beautiful costumes and sets and everything like that. So I have really low expectations to be honest. I just want it to be fun to watch and I don't really care if it's um, a critically acclaimed uh, Oscar winning tearjerker, you know what I mean? If you had a favorite cord, let me know as well. I would love to hear it. I haven't made my mind up on which one I'm wearing yet, but I guess you'll see it on my Instagram when I post my cord there. Okay, that's all for me. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a great one and bye-bye.